What's up, everybody? It's week 14 of the NFL season. My name is Fresno Guillermo, the Mexican Idris Elba. Hey, that man is put together. Come on now. Whew. Uh, last week I went 7-9, and nine, dropped myself to 112 up, 65 down for the season, 63.3%. I don't know where you're at, Joe Gibbs, but you better watch out. Uh, let's get right into it here, folks, shall we? Uh, we got the 8-4 and four Dallas Cowboys at the 5-7 and seven Chicago Bears. Jay Cutler, two touchdowns, two interceptions. It seems to be the uh, real deal here. It's December time, though, so we got Tony Romo doing this face a lot. I saw it on his interview. He did about 15 times in a two-minute clip. That's a Tony Romo face. Uh, tough call, but let's go. let's go with the Cowboys. Why not? Uh, we've got the 7-5 Pittsburgh Steelers at the 8-3-1 and one Cincinnati Bengals. We'll take the Bengals in that one. Steelers, you're a hot mess. Uh, we've got the 8-4 and four Indianapolis Colts at 7-5 and five Cleveland Browns. Johnny Football. Johnny Football is a Colin Kaepernick Part 2. He takes one read and he starts running. He ain't playing. Doesn't matter. Colts are going to get the win. Browns, you're a stain, on, <laughs> you're a stain aren't you? Uh, we've got the 2-10 and 10 Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the 8-4 and four Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions hitting their stride right at the good time of the season. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take them. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you're corn for a dollar. Think about it, people. Uh, we've got the 6-6 six six Houston Texans at the Jacksonville Jaguars, 2-10. and 10. Jacksonville Jaguars, I put them put the Giants on upset alert last week against the Jaguars. Jaguars able to pull it out. Houston Texans, uh, I don't know, man. Weird game. Who cares? Let's go Texans on that one. Jacksonville Jaguars, you're a bunch of Jaguars. Uh, we have the 7-5 and five Baltimore Ravens at the 7-5 and five Miami Dolphins. Baltimore coughed up that game last week against San Diego. That was a rough one. Uh, Miami stunk it out, squeaked by the Jets. Uh, let's go with the home team. I don't know. Let's go with the road team. Let's flip a coin. Can't, can't tell what the coin says. Let's go Baltimore Ravens. Miami Dolphins, you're a bunch of stupid fish. We've got the 2-10 and 10 New York Jets at the 5-7 and 7 Minnesota Vikings. The dumpster fire that is New York Jets still playing football for some reason. Trying to eke out that number one pick in the overall draft. Don't worry, the Raiders got that on lock. We're going to go with Minnesota Vikings on this one. We've got the 3-8-1 Carolina Panthers at the 5-7 and seven New Orleans Saints and the Who Wants to Win a Game Bowl. I'm going to go ahead and take the Saints in this one. Carolina Panthers, you're a bunch of kittens. You're kittens with mittens. We've got 3-9 and nine New York Giants at the 2-10 and 10 Tennessee Titans. Or as my son tried to explain to my daughter when they were making their picks this week, We've got Teen Titans versus Trigon. If you have kids and you watch those cartoons, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Trigons in this one. They got an NY on their helmet for those of you old people out there in the crowd. Tennessee Titans, you're a bunch of gizmos. All right, we've got the 5-7 and seven St. Louis Rams at the 3-9 and nine Washington football team. Uh, Washington football team, man, that's just a, that's, whew, that's a tough thing to watch there. St. Louis Rams are on a roll. 52-0. 52-0. To yeah. Freaking zero last week. Let's go ahead and go with the Rams. Washington, you're whatever Cartman drew that picture of in that South Park episode this season. Uh, we've got the 7-5 and five Kansas City Chiefs, the 9-3 and three Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals, everything's falling apart. I think Drew Stanton, without the security blanket, knowing that he was just the starter for just a little while, now that he's the real deal guy, offense is sputtering. Larry Fitz is not there. Chiefs, they got worked. They're going to come out. They're a better team. They're a better coach. I don't know about better coach. I'll take that back. They're equally as well coached. I'm going to go with the Chiefs on the road. Arizona Cardinals, you're a bunch of parents that have ceased to be. Uh, we've got the 7-5 and five Buffalo Bills, the 9-3 and three Denver Donkeys. Uh, I'll take the Donkeys in this one. Buffalo Bills, you're, <laughs> uh, you're wearing a bunch of Cosby sweaters. Kind of inappropriate. All right, we've got the seven and five San Francisco 49ers at the one and eleven Oakland Raiders. Niners. No, you know what? Screw that. I'm never picking the Niners against the Raiders. Raiders all day. You see that meme? That meme that was floating around. Something about Niner fans always talking about how Raider fans lose all the time, but this never happened on Oakland's home field, and it had a picture of Russell Wilson and Richard Chamberlain eating some Thanksgiving turkey right in the middle of the logo. How do you let that happen, San Francisco? How do you let them say, yeah, we'll let these guys eat turkey and get interviewed at the 50-yard line? Have some pride. Jeez Louise, you're San Francisco. You got pride all the time. There's parades for it. Richard Chamberlain. Richard Chamberlain. He was a great actor. Why? What are you asking for? Richard Sherman. Never heard of her. We got the eight and four Seattle Seahawks at the nine and three Philadelphia Eagles. This is actually a to good, to uh, tough game to call. 
Uh, Seattle Seahawks seem to be on a roll. Philadelphia Eagles are on a roll as well. <sighs> Coin flip. I'm going to go with the Eagles on this one. We've got the 9-3 and three New England Patriots. at the. I'm getting the look again. Hey, by the way, folks, in case you're wondering, that gravy was not watery. It was delicious. It was delicious. The mashed potatoes were on hit. A big bowl of them. I'm still eating mashed potatoes. 9-3 New England Patriots. The 8-4 San Diego Superchargers. Uh, wow, do I pick the Patriots to lose two in a row? Or do I pick the Chargers? Uh, I'm going to go with the Patriots on this one against... I don't know, man. That's a tough game. That's a close-up. You know, that's a, that's a toss-up. Close-up. It's a toss-up. It's a Richard Chamberlain close-up is what it is. I'm going to go with the Patriots on this one. San Diego Chargers, you're a bunch of guys that wear flip-flops and sweat socks. And we've got the Monday Night Football game. Why not? Let's play it. 5-7 and seven Atlanta Falcons. Tied for first, in first, I don't know, that weak division. Against the 9-3 Green Bay Packers, 9-3 Green Bay Packers could be anybody right now. They are dealing. That's my picks this week. Six-minute mark. Yeah, that means Martin Franco ain't clicking on this. Have a good one.